Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hi, my friend. Welcome back. My face is all red because I just washed my face. Um, I slept in my makeup last night and my face is all like kind of like irritated. My eyes are red and irritated from sleeping with mascara on. Um, I typically don't sleep in makeup, but I took out my contacts early last night because my contacts were bothering my eyes. And then my kids and husband fell asleep on the couch and while I edited, I fell asleep as well. Totally unintentional. And then I woke up and I just sort of like went to bed and skipped washing my face. So that is what I got going on. That's why my face is so red. Um, but today is Thursday. Um, we had a really special day yesterday. Um, that is why my house is a mess. There's a cake on the stove and there's um, just toys everywhere. So I need to really pick up this house today. Um, so if, and I figured I would vlog a little bit as well. We went to go to um, Build-A-Bear yesterday, but it was closed, which we were really disappointed. Um, so then we decided to just go to Target and um, walk around Target for a little bit. And my kiddos picked out a little toy um, for the day for the special occasion. And, um, and then we came home and ate some cake. So I got some things to clean up today. Um, I was just thinking, I feel like I've been in a rut with vlogging because it's summertime and all I do is go outside and play with my kids and because I choose to not share my kids on my channel, I really have nothing to show outside besides like what we're doing and it's like the same thing over and over and over again. Like my kids never get tired of being outside and playing outside so it's just really hard to vlog outside and that's one of the reasons why I feel like I've been in a rut because it's been really hard to film because all we do is just spend time outside because we love it out there. So today I'm changing that though. Um, I'm going to try my best to get a ton of footage for you and play with my kids outside. Um, I think I'm gonna have to take my computer outside um, and do a little bit of editing because I'm super behind on that as well. I just feel so defeated right now and I feel so behind. So um, I have a fun collab coming up so I really need to get that video done. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to take my computer outside and edit. I normally don't do that because I use our outside time as time to play with the kids but um, they're also super content at certain points um, playing on their own. It's a good day for a good day. Um, we're gonna do school. It's gonna be beautiful outside. We're gonna be playing outside. Things like that. I really need to water my strawberries. So I didn't do that yesterday. I picked them, but I totally forgot to water them. Um, so it's good. Get this day started. I need to clean up the table and then we're gonna get some floor done. I'm gonna move my charger. I wanted to show you what we got from Target. Do you guys remember this game? Guess who? I played this as a kid and it was one of my favorite games and we found it at Target so we decided to grab it um, because my oldest is um, just about able to play it so I'm super excited to play that with them. And then at the in the dollar spot um, we got these jumbo chalks and they're actually really cool. They're really pretty colors. Um, it was only three dollars for this whole thing so we got two of them. And then for an outside toy we got some water balloons bunch of balloons and then and then for a party favor we got some um bubbles gosh my house is a mess my daughter got this little guy my youngest and then you feed him with this little thing and then my oldest got a kitty cat it's over here so they each have one to play with we got my oldest this one and um, my youngest loved it. So at Target, we picked her out one so she could have one too. So there wasn't any fighting, you know how that goes.
super gluing this little caterpillar <laughs> that we made yesterday with clay because its butt fell off. I'm trying my hardest not to get super glue on my fingers. Oh, I successfully have super glue all over my fingers. I don't know what to do to get it off. <laughs> no. I hate the feeling of super glue on my fingers because I like, it's like you can't, it's like you're wearing a glove. Like you can't feel anything on your skin Oh, and it's all over my fingers. Well, I need to go and research a way to get super glue off of my fingers because I don't know if you can see it. It's like it is caked all over my fingers. So I need to go figure out a way to get this off. If you're ever in that situation where you get super glue all over your hand like I just did, um, acetone works like a charm. Like, you know, the kind of like soak off acetone that you take off acrylic nails with. Works like a charm. There's still a little bit left on my fingers only because I didn't like get every little bit off, but way better than it being all over my fingers. So now that my eyes and face won't feel as sensitive for I'm wearing makeup, last night while I slept. Um, what, honey? Um, hey, go get your Crocs, okay? We'll go outside. You're wearing your Crocs too? Okay. 
Um, so as I was saying, I did put a little bit of makeup on only because um, I feel a little more put together when I make makeup on. I just feel like way more awake and way more ready and prepared for the day. Um, so the kids ate a little bit of lunch and now they're getting their crocs on because we're going to get going outside. Um, the house besides my kitchen is pretty much cleaned up whenever we get in and take a break from playing outside i'll clean up my kitchen and do the dishes and things like that but the kids are getting a little antsy and normally whenever they do um i take them outside but then doing a voiceover for my video that's going live tomorrow um we came in from outside i fed my kids lunch and then i got that done really quickly um normally i like to do voiceovers at night after everybody goes to bed because it's nice and quiet but no, it's, since it's they were hard. occupied i'll get it honey since they were occupied i went ahead and did that really fast that way i could get ahead on editing because I am so behind, so I'm trying my hardest today to get ahead. That way I'm not so stressed out. Um, but we were outside for a little bit um, before we came in, and uh, it's beautiful outside. It's absolutely beautiful. So I went ahead and put up our like little tent for some shade because we don't really have much shade in our backyard. Um, and then I set up the kids' toys under there. Now I need to go ahead and pull out the hamburger meat because we're going to do hamburgers on the grill. My husband's gonna come up from work and he's gonna cut grass, so I figured hamburgers I think would be the best thing for dinner. I wanna show you what I just did. Um, while we were outside, I found this wonderful stick and um, I put it in my Monstera pot and I got some like twine and I sort of tied up that leaf over there because it's like just like stuck out too far and it got in the way of the homeschool cabinet. I don't want the leaf to get damaged because it sticks out over the homeschool cabinet. Um, so I'm hoping that this works. Um, I don't really want to buy a $20 moss pole off Amazon, so I'm trying to improvise and do it essentially free and um, see if that works. I have just been importing my voiceover that I did for my video going to up tomorrow and I did my thumbnail for it. Thumbnails are starting to be like my favorite thing to do. Um, just I think they're really cute. Um, but I'm gonna make myself a couple fizz sticks in my water. Um, I kind of laid off drinking fizz for a while, but I kind of want one. I'm kind of craving it. Oh, Jesus, just drop it. Um, I don't sell Arbon. I don't sell these, but they're really good, and I just share it because I like it. I'm not trying to sell you nothing, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and stir this around. We're gonna head back outside um, for a little while and wait for my husband to come home. Um, because I put up my tent. Oh, I need to show you that too. I put up our little tent. I, I don't know if I ever told you this, but um, I got this like pop-up tent. Like it's like a camping tent. You know what I mean? The ones that you can like stake into the ground. I got one of them because I always wanted one for like going to the lake and stuff. And um, Target was having a sale. So it was originally $150. It was on sale for like 50% off, I think. And then I had a $40 like Target Circle credit to use. So I got the tent for like 30 bucks. I was so excited. So um, I think that if that math is correct, I ended up getting the tent for around like 30 or $40 and I literally couldn't pass it up because it was a $150 tent originally. And we've used it so much and it's really good quality and I'm really happy with it. Um, and I put it up myself today, which I'm, I'm pretty impressed with myself that I can do that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. Here she is. I have all of our toys under it. And it's nice for the kids to be able to play in the shade. I got the hamburger meat pulled out for dinner, which was vacuum sealed. And now it's time to water my plants. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back all the way back.
Care kept me late. We spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. They dream of. Thing you saw was me pulling out dinner um, all we did last night after dinner was we went outside for a little while um, my husband worked on his car and I just hung out with the kids outside and then we came in took baths and went to bed so you didn't really miss much um, that's why I didn't really pick up the camera and honestly I totally forgot to end the video so here I am today ending the video um, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to click on this video and watch. Your support truly means so much to me. Um, if you are new here, please subscribe. I'd love to get to know you, connect with you, and if you're coming back, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.